<laughs> I'm Michael Sider. I'm an architecture student studying at Carleton University in Ottawa. I recently completed an exchange, an international exchange with Paris Malaquais in Paris. It uh, shared a campus with Ecole des Beaux-Arts in the 5th arrondissement. It was a very small school compared to Canadian universities. Um, there was only about 500 students, whereas Carleton is 30,000 students. And it also was only an architecture school. It didn't have any other programs um, within it. I took three courses when I was there, um, which is very much the same format as I would have in Canada. Um, the biggest, uh, or the, the most important course was the project course, where we were proposing a, um, a multi-use building in, under the auspices of something that was sustainable. Um, sustainable development means something very different in Canada than it does in France. Um, in Canada, it's very much concerned with building systems and reducing how much energy is consumed and um, very much the, the technologies and the um, building techniques that go into making a building. Whereas in Paris, it was much more than that. It wasn't just about making a building that um, used less energy. It was also about making a building that was sustainable for the community that it was um, placed in and also for the inhabitants and the users of the building. One of the biggest differences that I noticed um, the first time after one of my theory courses I went up to the professor to address him and I, I said oh Jack that was a great lecture and he recoiled and was uh, shocked that I had said that and corrected me. Um, I made friends very easily with other um, foreigners in the country. I found it a little bit, it took more time to make French friends um, I, the friends that I m ended up being closest with were ones that were from the country and from outside of Paris. Uh, my favorite um, place in Paris was the uh, King's Kitchen Garden in Versailles. It's not attached to the same um, gardens that we associate with the castle. It's maybe uh, three or four hundred meters away. Um, and right now it's run by the School of, of Agriculture. But it's um, an intact history of the um, gardens and the, the, the food gardens that were grown for the king and his court. Um, they still have hundreds of species of, of apples and pears and oranges that were grown and uh, differentiated um, for him. The, the architecture and the, the understanding that went into creating the specific micro, microclimates for different species but I think one of my memories is whenever somebody came to visit me in Paris, I'd take them down to the Champ de Mars to look at the Eiffel Tower and sit there with a bottle of cheap sparkling wine and wait for the, uh, the tower to start uh, twinkling at dusk. When I met one of the French exchange students that was at Carleton before I went to uh, his school in Paris, the first thing that he said to me was, wow, there's so much space here. And it was the exact opposite when I got to Paris. I, I came out of the metro and was shocked that the streets were so narrow and the buildings um, faced directly on the street and there were people everywhere. The thing I miss most from uh, Paris is the baguettes. I lived on a street and just across from me was this uh, little uh, bakery that started I, I think at three in the morning baking these uh, wonderful treats and wonderful bread but every morning waking up and opening my windows and having the sense of baguettes wafting in there was magical.